Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some extremely, extremely hyped up news. We actually have the official by Sony themselves, very first software update, which is very, very good, and also a little bit of hardware update too as well. Basically, the combination of the two allows some very, very cool things that a lot of people out there have been waiting for for quite some time, which of that is mainly included on the updated internal storage devices, so, so better SSD. So we actually have a confirmed brand new place. Actually, does actually it is. 100% confirmed for Sony. We actually have the details on it. We have the sign up beta for it. And also, I'm going to give you guys a few links down below for some other ones that other people have also recommended that would actually go work if you guys do want to go and bump up your storage. We did make a video on this a little while ago, too, as well. And all those same things I believe are still like applicable. They still work out for it. But I'll give you guys some more Amazon links down below just for some very, very SSDs in case you guys do want to go and improve, improve your actual PlayStation 5 storage. So, very, very big stuff. Like, this is extremely cool stuff. This is like, we've been waiting for this for quite some time. I'm sure a lot of, a lot of you guys out there have been waiting for it because, like, the they only have like a 850 gigabytes of storage. So, anything more is very, very nice. So, let's go and talk about this. And as well, any type of really big Sony update is always good for me. So, I uh, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on too, as well for restock news, gaming news, videos like this. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed for the PlayStation 5 giveaway if you guys don't have one yet. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Amazon and use all those nice little Amazon affiliate links down below for the ps5 disc the digital console controller sign up for weeble deposit 100 and you guys go get free stack and free money with that stock down below and of course sign up with coinbase with the link down below and you guys go and get free bitcoin as well so let's go dive on into this so we actually have some really really cool stuff over here uh well we have like four different things we're gonna talk about so like i said we'll have some links down below in case you just want to pick some stuff on up but basically sony's very first ever ps5 software beta is now officially arriving with the m.2 ssd support so a lot of things we're going to be talking about this one. We're going to be using this article from The Verge and a few other links too as well. So you're actually going to need to have the latest M2 SSDs for expendable storage, you know, for the PlayStation 5 itself. And Sony's PS5 system software beta program is actually officially starting out and rolling out today. It includes access to the long-awaited M.2 SSD slot, boys. The first PS5 beta is available for select users in the United States, Canada, Japan, UK, Germany, and France. Uh, a while back when we saw this, we actually did go give you guys the links to sign up for the beta itself. So very, very cool if you guys got selected. Uh, so basically, Sony notes that you're going to actually need an M.2 SSD that's PCI uh, Gen 4 and has read speeds of 5. 5,500 megabits or faster. That's largely what we were expecting. And it means a variety of Gen 4 drives will be supported, including the Samsung, Samsung's 980 Pro, Western Digital's SN850s, and many other modern M.2 SSDs. Like I said, I'll have all the links down below if you guys want to go check them out. They're not 100% confirmed, but when this is all kind of like up here and rolling and stuff, it should all in theory all be working. And a lot of people, a lot of articles, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of everyone else, myself included, have been cast to basically mention like the same, like, you know, 10 or so. There also has been confirmed ones in case you guys are curious about that one. We'll talk about that later on in the video. You may need to consider the cooling requirements for using M.2 SSD in a PS5, though. Using M.2 SSD with your PS5 console requires effect uh, effective heat dissipation with a cooling structure, such as a heat sink, explains Sony. You can attach one to your M.2 SSD yourself either in a single sided format or a double sided format too as well while sony notes that uh, read speeds on gen 4 drives of 5500 megabits or faster are recommended it also cannot guarantee that all m.2 ssd devices meeting the described specifications will work with your console playing games for this expandable storage may not have the exact same performance provided by the ps5's internal drive even if read speeds also exceed that so basically just kind of just kind of like trying to go cover themselves up I mean, like, hey, our stuff is specifically made for our consoles. If there's any issues for whatever reason, don't blame us. But it should work. They keep on even Sony themselves are saying it should work. Aside from the M.2 SSD support, this latest PS5 beta software also includes 3D audio support for built-in TV speakers, which I actually would not maybe mind making a separate video on that. If you guys would ever want me to go give you guys a good, like, TV recommendation, monitor recommendation, stuff like that for the channel, I don't think I've ever actually done that or, like, really been in-depth with it, so I wouldn't mind trying to do that up on the channel itself if you guys would like that. But it's also will be available too as well in the sound menu on the ps5's console system settings and the feature uses the dual sense controller to measure the acoustics of the room to apply a 3d audio setting which is very cool we'll talk a little bit more about that too as well sony is also improving other areas of its ps5 software the control center interface will now include a more personalized options for rearranging or choosing controls, which is very, very nice. Good upgrade. The PS5 users will be able to view and write messages to friends and parties from the game base also as well, which cool stuff, cool stuff. 
The friends tab in the game base is also being updated with better management options and the ability to see how many friends are online. So just a lot of little, like, really cool quality of life upgrades that we kind of heard about and talked about before. And this is all up for the actual beta program too. So basically right now, it's like almost good enough that the public can use it, but they're still kind of testing some stuff on over here. There's also a few other addressing few things for the confusing aspects of the PS4, PS5 versions of games. Different versions will now appear separately in the home screen and game library. Here's game title will also now include whether it's PS4 or PS5. We've touched on this like a while back, but now it's actually kind of coming to fruition and people are actually able to use it now, which is very, very nice. This new PS5 beta will also include a trophy tracker that lets players quickly access up to five trophies per game through the control center. Sony is also adding options to pick between 720p and 1080p for its PlayStation Now service uh, and enabling a new automatic video clip for PS5 players that complete in challenges with high scores in games. So very cool stuff. Very awesome upgrade as well. Like I said, I'll have the links down below for some SSDs I recommend. But as well, we also do even have the official page over here from Sony saying for beta users, this is how you actually go add the M.2 SSD to a PS5 console. Find out which M.2 SSDs can be used to expand your PlayStation 5 console storage space and how to insert an m.2 ssd into the expansion slot basically this is very important too is to note this is only available for the beta users and the internal m.2 ssd expansion feature will be enabled via an upcoming ps5 system software update please check the guide below for more information please note that because of this is a beta Features and specifications describe heroin may change prior to the official release so basically over here they have the requirements, how to install, how to move games, how to remove it, and also how to all these normal frequently asked questions too as well, which is very, very nice. And the major reason why you'd maybe want to consider this is once it's installed, you can basically go and just have bigger storage, download more games, have more games over there. Just a lot of really cool stuff like that, as well as also media apps too, as well on top of that too as well. And this is one of the big things too, is which M.2 SSDs can be used. It's important that you can only use a supported M.2 SSD to expand your PlayStation 5 console storage. Make sure you're using an M.2 SSD that meets the following requirements. As this is beta, please note that final specifications may change. So basically, as I'm saying, like, the options we're going to give you guys, in theory, should go fully work, but it's not 100%, but it's very, very likely. As well, we also do have a pretty big note, too, as well, that Seagate also confirms Fire Cuda 530 is PlayStation 5 ready. So basically, the new Seagate Fire Cuda 530 uh, NV M.2 PCIe Gen 4. This is all these numbers. SSDs offers blistering fast speeds, and it actually is fully compatible, confirmed with Sony's PlayStation 5. So basically, as well, if I can find any good links for all of you guys, I'll hook you guys on up. But basically, we've known about the Seagate's next gen of MVME M.2. This is so hard to read. For a while now, it's looking great. And basically, this actually could be something we may want to talk about a little bit more, maybe as more information comes in out throughout the next, like, two weeks, three weeks or so, to fully, fully do it. So I may make a video on that. But basically, we do actually have confirmation from other companies that they do fully work. So basically, the Fire Cuda 530 is two times faster than the Gen 3 Fire Cuda 520, and you can expect 7,300 megabits of sequential read and 6,900, nice, sequential write. That's well in excess of the minimum requirements of the PlayStation 5. And in fact, the PlayStation 5's own internal SSD starts out at 5,500, but it could also stretch to 9,000 with compressed files. So as such, gamers have speculated the Fire Cuda 530 would be PS5 compatible upon its launch in August 2021, and now that can actually be confirmed to as well. So... We have all the other previous ones I'll be mentioning down there down below will also be up there too. We've actually seen a few little list of them too as well. But here's an official statement over here saying we have done some testing with Sony on the PlayStation 5. And today we can confirm that the Fire Cuda 530 with the heatsink has met all the PlayStation 5 requirements with the PS5 design. The SSD card slot is very narrow, so there's not much room for the SSD to mount. However, with the Fire Cuda 530, even with the heatsink on top, the slim design allows for it to fit. Of course, the Fire Cuda 530 without the heatsink is slimmer, so both of them will fit into the PS5. So at least right now, we'll probably have a lot more throughout the next, like, probably like two, three weeks or so. A lot of people testing out SSDs, trying them on out or whatever. If you guys are a little bit skeptical, even though I do have links down below, always just be aware that it might change up very slightly or other stuff. So if you just want to be safe and you guys are not in the beta, that's fine. Let all the beta testers do all the work for you guys, and then maybe go pick up some stuff in a few weeks or so. I may go tweet out a few of the good ones or as well. I also may just go make some videos on it once we have actually more confirmed good information on all this stuff. But... 
Very cool news. No more so. Very, very cool news on the actual update. This is actually officially kind of out coming on out. So as you guys are going to probably seeing a lot more information, a lot more rolling out stuff. And especially if you guys are trying to get your PS5s, if you guys still haven't got them, this is almost nice because now people are beta testing all this really cool internal stuff that'll make it easier for you guys to go and get, utilize this in the future. But very cool stuff. Very good update. And it's very nice to go and see. And like I said, I'll have a nice little set of links down below for things I would recommend you guys to go pick on up. If you guys want to wait, nothing wrong with waiting to as well in the future. As well, thank you guys all so much for watching. Make you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new ps5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller and all the ssds that recommend twitter and twitch stream if you guys want to follow and of course sign up for weeble deposit 100 dollars. you guys go get free stack free money coinbase you guys go buy 100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin so always link down below like the video itself and give me your thoughts and comments down below and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching